And this year, Juneteenth is being celebrated as a nationally recognized holiday that marks the end of slavery. I spoke to some local African American leaders who shared how they feel about this change. Take a look. June 19, 1865, the day slaves in Galveston, Texas, got the news that they were free, also known as the end of slavery. And this year marks the first time it is celebrated as a federal holiday. An olive branch being extended to us that we're going to do better, we're trying to do better. And so I'm hoping that it will turn some things. Doris Jackson Hardwick, president of National Association for the Advancement of Colored People in El Paso, says this is a big step for the African American community and a way to prompt conversations. No Kyra Lewis, the vice president of Black Students Union at UTEP, says more has to be done when it comes to educating young generations. Texas passed a bill earlier this week banning teaching of critical race theory that states racism is embedded in the fundamentals of the U.S. But I find it very ironic and perhaps even performative that you can pass a national holiday celebrating the freedom of slaves when you don't want to teach about the circumstances that brought them here. However, Lewis says this is a step forward and an opportunity to address the current injustices that black Americans are facing. We're thankful that we got Juneteenth, don't get me wrong, but there's so many other things that we need to address first. The message behind this holiday, they say, is a step forward, a call for unity and change. If we just want to listen to each other, see what we're all about, see where we want to go, you know, where we've been, where we want to go, and we need to see if we can come to a happy meeting so everybody can be aware. Carla Draxler, KTSM 9 News.